I'm Simi Farrell, and this is another edition of Science Beat. Today, we are going to be hearing from a group of scientists that are working on improving cancer detection. First, let's meet our scientists. My name is Suzanne O'Neill. Hi, I'm Sarah Nur. And I'm David Farrell. Suzanne, Sarah, and David created a program called Engaged so they could do what scientists do, study it. So our product is a risk assessment and shared decision-making tool for women that are at moderately increased risk of breast cancer. So basically, they made a website. But they weren't content just to study it. They wondered if Engaged had another life beyond research. So we began this project uh, as a research project. We're about three years into our R1 funded intervention that we're doing in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but we learned once we started our doing our interviews that there was a whole range of care models um, and levels of risk that we really could serve uh, if we adapted our tool. So they embarked on Sprint, a program to help researchers take their innovations to the next level. As part of the Sprint program, we interviewed people all over the U.S., potential users of Engage, their healthcare providers, health systems administrators, other researchers, and business people. Our goal was to figure out how Engage might best fit into the healthcare system. After two months, they're still sprinting. It's maybe more of a slow jog by now, but they've learned a lot. I learned that women have very high tolerance for low quality of care in terms of breast cancer screening services. One thing I found really surprising was the degree to which even really experienced providers were using tools that they had created for themselves in order to educate their patients. To be viable, our product probably needs to be paired with a partner product that can fill in some of the things that we can't do. Well, there you have it, the engaging story of three scientists trying to help the world without going broke.